Hey, viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. This is now episode 11, I believe. So, if you remember in the last episode, we were making our way here through the uh, containment zone. No, not the containment zone, the entrance zone. That's <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> wrong uh, area. I've got, I had the heavy containment zone in mind for some reason. No, we're in the entrance zone. We found um, a couple of new kind of rooms that I've not seen before, but uh, we're going to be continuing, obviously, today. Obviously, you know... One of my sort of standing objectives at the moment is to try and get 106 to take me back into the pocket dimension in the hopes that maybe I can go in there and just see what's going on exactly. So I want to see if I can find this uh, World War One kind of dimension that's supposed to be in the pocket dimension. Oh, hello there. Rubber duck. You're an SCP, apparently. What's this? Ah, oh, it's just an SNAV. I don't need that. Uh, is that something I could pick up there? What did I get? 093 Recovered Materials. <laughs> wow, well that's, um, <laughs> fantastic, isn't it? The whole thing's really redacted, pretty much. Sponge, whatever. What's that? That's a, uh, secure access card. That's level one. Why on earth would I need that? Come on, now. What's this document? 895. Oh, okay. This is that one SCP that I've never actually encountered before. This, is, this isn't this is new at all. This has been in the game for a long, long time, but I've occasionally seen its effects on the monitors sometimes, where it goes a bit weird and your character tries to look at the monitor. You know the one I'm talking about, and then weird images appear. It's a bit freaky. I hear you, 173. Don't be a bitch. So basically, yeah. It's a kind of upright coffin. And the idea is, if you're standing in its kind of presence, nothing really happens. But if you view it over a camera feed, weird shit starts to appear. Basically, how interesting uh, is? Okay, one seven three is definitely not on the radar. Interesting. Ah, oh. oh, okay, we've got gate B through here. That's interesting. So we did find gate A before as well. So we can't go in there because 079, isn't it? The uh, computer dude is being a bitch. We are here to protect you. That's uh, lovely of you, Foundation chaps. Okay, so I've got to obviously make a note of that being there. I don't know if there's anything actually different, though, about the endings. So, who knows? I should probably just check my radar. No, he's not there. No, that's the way I came. Let's go this way. What have we got through here? Hmm. The corridor. Ah, I wonder if this is the electrical center. This looks like, yeah. It's probably the electrical center. Okay. I mean, there's no one through there. I need keycard. Oh no, this isn't the electrical center. This is uh, an office. Okay. Oh yeah, with the, um, <laughs> with the 420J. Ah, there we go. Reggae Man, apparently, is the uh, achievement I got there. That's a transceiver. Yeah, there's nothing else really in here, is there? Besides the uh, drugs. Mm. Okay. Does the SCP-420J actually serve any purpose just beyond being a silly little joke thing? Okay, right. Check out in this direction. Oh no, this is the electrical sent. What? That sounded like a switch being activated. Did not appreciate that. Okay, right. Could go up here then. That's what we could do in this area. Is switch off the remote door control. Which 079 obviously won't like. Just <clears throat> hoping uh, oh, what's his face isn't in here. Bullby the murder statue. Like he's in here. Am I watching you? Primary light. Oh fuck me! Ah. On. God, I hate it when it does that. <laughs> Fucking lighting effects. Oh, hello. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm just gonna grab that very quickly. Hang on one sec. 
I'll, I'll let you take me into the pocket dimension. What is this? Note from Daniel. We replaced the worn-out cables of the elevator at Section B this morning. Someone should make an announcement to inform everyone that it's safe to use again. Okay, right. Go on. 106. Take me. I want to go to your dimension. There you are. Go on. And let's go, everybody. Okay, here we are. Right. Let's see if we can find the World War One place this time. Okay. Oh god. It is so hard to see. Because how muffled, uh, not muffled, how uh, distorted your vision is. Okay, I'm going in a random direction that I can't see very well. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Please take... Ooh. Wait, where? Uh, where am I? What is this? This is completely unfamiliar to me. Oh god, is this a jumping puzzle? Oh god! Jesus, what was that thing that flashed across my vision then? Oh, what do I do? Oh, I go down. Okay. Uh, oh, this is freaky. What's with the noise? Oh! God! 106. I shouldn't have hung around on there for too long, should I? Ooh, okay. Subject D, 9341. Par uh, body partially decomposed by what is assumed to be 106's corrosion effect. Body disposed of via incineration. Ooh! Well, at least we're back here. That's good. Right, well, we can go back to the electrical centre. Didn't manage to find um, the uh, thinking bobber. The World War One area. It's basically, you've just got to find this throne room that you can apparently find in the pocket dimension. <coughs> oh, Jesus. God. Freaking noises. Get me every time. Okay, so like I say, you find the throne room. And if you kneel in front of it or something like that, or if you stand in front of it, then 106 tells you to kneel. And if you do crouch, then he sends you to this weird area that's supposed to be like World War One. Okay, lighting. There we go. Come here. There we are. I've got you. Remote control control is off. That's just Daniel's note over there. Okay. God, the amount of weird noises. It's always kind of freaky. Well, not kind of, it's always very freaky. Okay, right. It's game save there. Since we managed to uh, disable that remote door control. Okay, so what's uh, down in this direction then? Oof. Oh, is this... Um... Oh, no. I think I know what this is. Is that the spooky room of nopeness? Don't do that, seriously. Conference room 9B. Okay. I think I've seen this before, but... Wow. Yeah, this is... That's the spooky room of... Yeah, Dr. L. Yeah, that's the spooky room of nopeness. You can tell because of all the friggin' 106 blotches that are everywhere across these floors. Guess, was there anything actually in here, though? It's worth checking out. I can't actually remember. Oh god, spinning my camera around. Oof, man. Someone clearly got taken in here. Can I read this? Uh, to site command from 05 regarding breach. While we appreciate the concern and obvious unease of you and your staff, there is a procedure in place for these events. Site must first be locked down to prevent physical escape and allow time to assemble the correct MTF teams for evaluation and recovery. Any subjects currently sealed in the site are to remain there for the duration of the breach event. Nothing will be allowed to exit the site until cleared by an MTF squad after a full evaluation. Any subjects exiting the facility will be considered lethally contaminated and treated as such. Currently have a full evaluation and review MTF team quick, uh, geared and to enter in approximately one hour. In addition, all outside communication needs to be severed to prevent mimetic contamination. The fact that you neglected to do so, or to do so to send the aforementioned message is unsettling. We will now manually sever all outside communication links. Disciplinary hearing will be held for remaining command members, post-evaluation and recovery. You see, that's the thing about the storyline in this. <clears throat> Isn't the basic storyline that someone in the site has uh, kind of betrayed the rest of the personnel? Something like that. That door's going to open. Oh! Where are you? Okay, there you are. Should we go to the pocket dimension again? Might as well do it. God, look at you. 
How freaky you are coming out the ground like that. Hey dude, how are you? <laughs> okay. Well, let's go then, shall we? God, the number of times I've been in this uh, dimension over the course of uh, my second series. It's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, um, I think I'm going to go in this direction. God, let my vision focus, please. Okay, here we go. Where is this going to take me out? Oh, to another passage? Hallway area? Okay. Just notice you don't have a sprint ability, do you, in the pocket dimension? Hello, hello, hello. Whoa. Oh, where am I? Wait, where's... Where the fuck? Um... This is not familiar. Oh, no, this is definitely different. Uh, I hear him. Oh, where am I going? This is just darkness. Uh, I can't see a thing. What's going on? Where am I? Uh, see his face just flash across the thing then? Oh, where the fuck? I can hear myself walking, but I don't see where I am. What's going on here? Oh, oh, oh. No, wait. What the fuck is this? I cannot fucking see a thing. Um, I think I've just... Wait, what? No, seriously, just friggin' loop around into... Back to the start? What the hell? Maybe if I just keep going forward? Okay. I didn't know what I'm doing here. It's too dark. I literally can't see anything. It's pitch black. I think I'm just walking forward into nothingness here. Or maybe I'm stuck on a wall. I don't actually know. Uh, oh, no. Hang on. Something happened, but I'm not sure what. Oh? Oh. I died? Oh, okay. Well, that was no good. Alright, here we are, back in the electrical centre. Hmm. That was very peculiar. I'm not sure what happened there. I think I just... fell into nothingness and died. Ugh, we're not dealing with that room up there. That room always gives me the PBGBs. Oh, I think this is, might just be a, um... Ah, it's just a random exit. Okay, we can't go that way. Alright, well, let's uh, head back round, then. Fuck your horrible room. I'm not going in there. It's a bad room. Huh. Somebody just got uh, part of their body ripped out. In here. Just to shut all the doors. Significant progress there. Okay. And here we are. Back in this area. Come on, getting gas from my tea. Yeah. There we are. Okay, so this uh, leaves this way. Oh. This is just another... Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. You are very prevalent, aren't you, all of a sudden? Well, let's go back to the pocket dimension, then, <laughs> I guess, everybody. Let's see if we can find the World War One dimension this time. Come on, then. Be your worst. Oh, my poor D-class character. Number of times this has happened to him now. Okay, spin the camera. I think we'll go down this way. That's the thing, I'm just having to pick routes at random. And just hope that, you know, it leads me out somewhere interesting. Oh. Where have I come out? Oh. Is it me or does this look different? Oh, it's just another frigging series of corridors. Okay. Guess we'll take a random route then. Wonder how long this episode's been going for. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Wait, what? Where did I come out? Hello? Where am I? Uh, what? What? What, what happened? Am I in the light containment zone again? 
That sounds like... That's... Ooh! Okay, no, it was a trick. Uh, what? Hello? My character is... Oh my god, this is blackness. It's a fake chamber. Fake corridor. Oh god. Do I just go out? Ooh! Oh, where is this? Where am I? What is this? No, this isn't the throne room, is it? What is this? Where am I? I think my character is in need of meds. Oh my god. Oh my god, is this it? Did I find it? Oh, oh! What is that? What is that? No, don't look at it. Stop it. Oh my lord. This is it, isn't it? This is the World War One dimension. What on earth was that? Huh? Oh my god, no, 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 stop, stop, stop looking at it. What is it? Huh? Oh, that is freaky. What is that? It's like an aeroplane bird thing. Oh my god, I actually found it. Oh god, it's coming over again. Oh, what is that? Jesus. Oh, oh shit. Am I supposed to look... What? What's happening? What? What happened? Feeling faint from the amount of blood you lost. 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 Lost, I should say. Oh my god, I'm, something's happening to me, but I don't know what. I don't have anything to actually freaking heal myself with. Oh my lord. Just go. I can barely fucking move. I think that thing's gonna kill me, or I'm gonna die from blood loss. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, what? Okay, okay, I'm looking at it now. Jesus. This that thing is freaky. Good lord. Let's keep moving. God, I can... Oh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> oh man, blood loss, I think, clearly. Yep, subject D9341, uh, cause of death, multiple lacerations, severe blunt force, trauma. Wait, what? Caused by an instance of SCP-0492? What? I'm sorry? That's not... What? What? I don't, what? what? I don't, what? Okay. Man. Sh shiver me timbers, everybody. Okay, well, I don't know what the death thing is all about, because... Because, well, that's not what happened. But, okay, well, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Man, some very interesting things there. I finally found what is essentially, apparently supposed to be, 106's World War One Pocket Dimension. So, basically, if anyone doesn't know, 106 is supposed to have a backstory. I don't really know what it is, but, I don't know, I, I think, is he supposed to be a former World War One soldier or something who, somehow, I'm not sure how, but turned into a monster? I don't know. And I think the World War One area there, because it's supposed to be World War One, I'm sure, like with the trench and that thing going overhead, which I guess was supposed to be sort of like a kind of aircraft type thing. I th I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to be, but I'm not sure. God, it was... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say right now that was freaky as hell, but I loved it. Oh man. So, is there anything you can find in there? That's the question. So. I'm guessing you have to avoid the aircraft thing, whatever it is, or something. Do you have to kind of get through the trench? I'm not 100% sure, but I wonder. Obviously, you guys watching this out there, let me know. Is there anything you can find in that trench, or whatever it is? Anything that maybe tells you about 106's backstory, or anything like that? Or is there any rationale for being there? I don't know. Man, that was incredible, that was. But unfortunately, I died of blood loss halfway through. And of course, my character was slowing down as a result. And I couldn't really get anywhere. Yeah. My character also was trying to look at the aircraft as it was going overhead. So I'm imagining that 
that might be in a similar vein to 895, probably harmful, probably bad, I'm guessing. Hmm, God, that was, yeah, like I said, it was creepy as hell that was, but I loved it. So yes, hope you'll join me for episode 12 when I get around to doing that. You know, as usual, keep your comments coming, let me know what's new in the game, what I haven't seen before. You know, basically anything that I've not seen in the last series. So yes, especially if there's anything else that's new with the more recent updates, anything new that's in the entrance zone or whatever. And of course, let me know, is there anything to find in the World War One section of the pocket dimension that uh, is worth me actually trying to go back there, maybe? Because that would be good to know. So yes, if you're not doing so already, you can follow me, of course, on my Facebook and Twitter pages. Links in the video description, as usual. In the meantime, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, got him. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Get off the edge. Oh, no, no, go. Get out of here, get out of here, get out, 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 get out. That monstrosity finished off. Get over there. See ya. Oh, shit, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. Oh, please don't tell me I have to kill it again now. Shit. God, stop, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it. Yeah. Oh lord! No, 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 no! Holy crap! This area is horrible! <laughs> oh my god, I've been shot to fucking pieces! Ah! Oh my. What the fuck? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Fucking hell! Bloody hell! That did like a million damage! This better not be a. Wah! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many... What?